Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, February 17th, 2012. We begin with a story from the world of physics. MIT researchers have engineered a method to produce materials that remain functional at temperatures of up to 1200 degrees Celsius. The material type is known as photonic crystals. Its application might revolutionize anything from batteries of portable electronic devices to spacecrafts. This production is yet the most inexpensive, robust, simple, and accessible. Photonic crystals absorb certain frequencies of light and let others pass through. In order to do that, molecules are organized in a lattice of either one uniform material or two complementary materials. The new devised materials are in the infrared, and most of what is required for the production already exists. Not all photonic crystals work at high temperatures. Challenges include evaporation, melting, cracking, and corrosion. However, researchers have overcome these obstacles and designed a geometry inspired by high-purity tungsten, which appears to avoid such damages. It's always hard to predict when such advancement could reach the mass-scale production, but at least the technology advancement is promising. Next, we have an update from the world of technology. An international research team has, for the first time, recorded information using only heat. Now, normal hard drives and similar devices are magnetically based and use magnetic fields to write information. A single bit of data is basically a tiny magnet that can be inverted by using an opposing magnetic field. The stronger this external field, the faster data can be recorded. However, it was found that ultra-short heat pulses could also invert the magnets inside data storage media. This allows for drastically faster information recording. The researchers say up to terabytes per second. As an added bonus, recording with this method also requires less power. And finally, from the world of astronomy, a team led by the University of Idaho has designed an unmanned aerial vehicle for a mission to Titan. Now, Titan is kind of crazy in terms of environment. It's much colder, so there are lakes of liquid methane and mountains of ice. However, this bizarre environment also includes a denser atmosphere, which should make it easier to fly. This, in theory, would allow an aircraft to be 28 times heavier than it could be to function on Earth. Fun fact, it also means a human with wings strapped to their arms could flap and become airborne. If this UAV were built, it could map the surface of Titan and have more capabilities than proposed balloons. Also, it'd just be way cooler. Thanks to a radioactive power source, it could run for around a year, although this particular power source hasn't been used in a space mission yet. The price of this project would be around $750 million, which is actually pretty cheap in terms of outer solar system missions, but still, finding funding would be a major challenge. Well, Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. And be sure to check out the announcement video posted Wednesday.